they're good looking, join me for this epic chest, triceps, and abs workout specifically for women over the age of 40. Now listen, you need some tools for this workout, so I want you to grab a sturdy chair in addition to a pair of heavy dumbbells, moderate, and then a lighter end of moderate as well. All right, awesome. Lace up those runners, let's go get warmed up. Hello there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and hey, I help women over the age of 40 get strong and fit. So if that's your jam, this is what this channel is all about. So click that subscribe button and notification bell and let's continue doing this together as a team. Now let's put the dumbbells off to the side, your chair off to the side. We need to get ourselves warmed up and ready to go. I am so excited for this workout. And for those of you doing this in real time, we are on day eight of my 10 day arms and abs challenge. Woo, baby, welcome. All right, let's start with some arm circles. Abs engaged, knees are soft. So we are doing a little bit of everything, <laughs> specific for chest, triceps, and shoulders. We will get some legs in as well. So I've sprinkled in some mini Tabatas throughout so that we can get a really good calorie burn. I wanted to give you everything today. Now let's just take one arm and maybe stagger the stance and Really make those circles big. Good job. Last four, three, two, one, and then the other side. Now what I'm doing with my hand here, I'm making sure that my shoulder's not rounded forward. Now we're doing a ton of stuff too on the wrist. So I'm gonna show modifications as we go. If being weight bearing on your wrists or shoulders aggravates you, such as tricep dips, push-ups, that idea. So don't worry, I got you covered. Last three, two, one. Excellent, now I want you to open up the arms and then close them and give yourself a big hug and that'll open up the upper back here. Open up the front of the body and close. Alternate which arms on top. So I've got my buddy sidekick, um, George, in the house as well. He's just off camera right now, staring outside. <laughs> and then my other buddy is just this side of me. Lying there staring at me, Bella. Good, four more, three, two, and one. All right, we're going into some walkouts. If walkouts aren't your jam, I want you to hold a forearm plank. So this is what a forearm plank looks like. All right, on the knees to modify. Otherwise, join me for five walkouts. Bend the knees, walk out to high plank. Good, advance people, tap each alternating shoulder and then walk back. Do it again. When we tap those shoulders, you advance people, keep those hips quiet. If you're not doing the walkouts, you just hold that plank, baby cakes. We will warm up the shoulders and the core that way without placing stress on your wrists, which is why a lot of people don't like doing walkouts. However, if you can do walkouts, they are super effective to warm up the whole body. Last one. And walk back, awesome, shake it out. Okay, we're starting our first series off with a body weight, two body weight movements, so that'll continue the warm up fun and it'll also get the heart rate up. So get your chair set up and let's get going. Moves, tricep dips, okay. Bum off the chair, bum close to the chair though. We're not pushing the bum forward, that's gonna set you up for some shoulder discomfort. Bend the elbows and press yourself up for 20 seconds, followed by seat, seated on the chair, jump squats. All right, if you don't jump, heel lift. Now, if you don't do tricep dips, I want you to grab one of your dumbbells. You'll have a seat and do tricep behind the head extensions while we do the dips. All right, so let's get set up. Our first move are the dips. Oh, by the way, we have eight rounds, 20 seconds are on the clock. That would be good info for you, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. Start with the dips or grab your dumbbell and stay seated for the extensions. Now, when we do the dips, you guys, the further away my feet are, the more challenging the exercise becomes. So you play around with your intensity, but keep that bum close to your bench. Where problems lie on this one is people float their hips forward creating a lot of stress on that poor shoulder. Time. All right, so start seated. Now we're gonna jump up or you'll do a heel lift if that doesn't work for you for 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. 
up, up, good. If you're doing the jump, land soft. Sit your bum all the way down, come on. Looking straight ahead once you've seen me do the movement. Neutral spine, time. All right, so now you know it, okay? Back to your dips. We alternate for those two for the full eight rounds. Bum close to your chair. Ready, set, go. Now bend those elbows. Really make the triceps work. And then press through. Try to use the arms, not your hips. Woo-wee, this is warming things up, time. All right, back to those squat jumps or heel lifts if the jumping's not your bag. Ready, set, go. Now with the squat, we want the feet shoulder width apart. Take a look, good job. We're pushing the bum back, still keep a neutral spine. All right, so you're not giving me a posterior tilt in the lower back. So right now we're training abs, time, cool, right? Yes, we are training abs, you may not feel it. Here we go, back to triceps, but when we do big movement patterns like the squats, you get your abs engaged, go. Elbows track behind you, not out to your side. Woo. Now it's getting hard. <laughs> Time. Whew, shake out those arms. Okay, sit up nice and tall. We want to start with good posture before we start our first jump. Ready, set, go. Up. Bum goes back. Good job. Feet shoulder width apart. Chest up, head up, smile on. Right? You're feeling good. Time. Okay, one more of each and then we move on. So again, you've got that option. You've got the behind the head triceps if these dips aren't working for you. Go. I don't recommend these dips if you do have any shoulder issues, but I feel like you already know that after the first rep and you would have switched out to the different movement I provided to you. Remember, you need to listen to your body. I will give you as many options time as I can, but only you can follow through and do what's gonna feel good for you. All right, last time with the squat jumps, let's go. Woo, I feel my tush. <laughs> good morning glutes. Time, woo! All right, shake those legs out. Grab a little sip of water if you need it. I never recommend chugging a lot of water during a workout, especially the ones where I add the mini Tabatas. You feel it sloshing around in the gut. Okay, we have a ladder for the next one. Two moves, we start with 10 reps, we ladder to 15 and then 20 and then we're done. I want you to grab the moderate pair of dumbbells. For reference, I'm using 12s. Head down to your mat, skull crushers. Now here's the keel crew. Your arms are extended straight up above the shoulders and then I want you to float them back a bit. So the triceps are really getting a good length right here and then we drop the dumbbells down for 10. Okay, so here we go, set up. Wrist straight, arms above the shoulders now float the arms back, hold it here, and bend only at the elbows. Here we go, all the way down to the ground. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. So we're keeping those elbows in front of the shoulders. Five, four, woo wee, three. This is gonna be fun. Two. <laughs> One, now dumbbells off to the side. Now, if you can't do push-ups, what you're gonna do is bring your elbows in and do full narrow chest presses, okay? 
Otherwise, flip around. We have push-up pulses from the knees to modify. Otherwise, you go halfway down and we pulse it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh, I got to go on my knees. 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo. Oh, George, you're missing a good one. Okay, so now 15. Skull crushers. Here we go. So arms are above the shoulders and now float them back a bit. Here we go. One. So you can get the dumbbells to touch the ground beside each side of the head. Two. You can also use one dumbbell if this is getting too much. Three, four, or alternate arms. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You just gonna lay there and stare at me? 13, 14, holy moly, 15, 15. Whew, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna go down to my 10s for our 20 reps circuit. All right, so we've got those pulses or elbows in for chest full presses, all right? You choose what you're gonna do, ready, set yourself down. We pulse it for one, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, 10. Again, one, two, three, four, 15. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, you guys. I know, I don't really like me right now either, but we will like me for the results. So let's grab some dumbbells. I'm knocking them down to tens. Hey, don't lick. Hey, stop it. George. He got neutered a, a little while ago, so I don't want him licking his incision. All right, arms extended. Float them behind the shoulders a bit and down for one, Whew. two. Three, four, five, six, George, seven, hey, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I gotta do a mini break. I don't know about you. <laughs> Last ten, nine, eight, seven. How you doing at home? Six, are you struggling like me too? Five, we got this, we got this. Four, yeah, this is waking us up today, isn't it? Three, two, one, whoo, okay. Push-up pulses, 20. I'll show you another way you can modify this if being on the knees and you're still like, oh, this is ridiculous, PJ. Okay, and this is where I'm probably gonna go at because <laughs> My triceps are done. You're gonna come down, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I'm proud of you. Very proud of you. All right. Go lay down, bud. We're on YouTube. Come on. Right there. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. <sighs> Moving into our Tabata now. Okay, we have plank ups off the knees or the toes, followed by a power mountain climber. 20 seconds are on the clock. Okay, if you don't do plank ups, you're gonna go back to that narrow chest press that we did. And then for the next move of the power mountain climber, I'll show you a modification. Otherwise, on the knees for modification on this guy, intermediate advanced people, on your toes. Ready, and plank one arm up underneath the shoulder, then the other, bring it down. Now lead with the other arm as you come up and down. So we alternate lead arms. Keep the hips quiet. And we want a little bit of speed with this so we can get the heart rate up and get a little bit extra calorie burn. Time, whoo. Power mountain climbers mean we start with one foot beside the pinky, we push through the ground and we switch feet. That doesn't interest you, you can do a regular mountain climber, go. 
or you can do a bicycle crunch to stay totally off of the arms. All right, you just go right here, 20 seconds. Time, Whew. okay, those are our moves, all right? You ready? Back to the plank ups or the narrow presses if that's where you're at. Go. Alternate your lead arms if you're with me, doing the plank ups. You can go on those knees to modify too. Try to get the hand right underneath the shoulder. Really work those triceps. Done. All right. Power mountain climber or perform a regular one where you've got that bicycle crunch option. Here we go. Ready? If you're doing the power, one foot beside the pinky. Now go. Press. Press. So you want to really press into the arms, okay? Have faith. You can try it. I think you can do it. Once I coach people, they're surprised they can do this one. It looks super challenging, but if you press into the ground, it helps out time. It is challenging, yeah, but it's not impossible. Okay, halfway crew. Back to plank ups. Ready, go. Again, if these aren't your jam, where are you? You've got those dumbbells, face up, knees bent, elbows close to the body, and you're pressing those dumbbells straight up and down. <laughs> George is just watching each hand as it comes up. <laughs> Time. <laughs> okay. Whew. Power mountain climbers are regular. If you're doing the powered up version, start with one foot beside the pinky. Go. So here's the core part of the workout. <laughs> Here are your abs. Whew, time. Okay, and in the plank cups too, a lot of abs. Okay, one more of each, and then we move on. Get yourself set up. Go. Done. Whew. Yes, good boy. Okay, power up those mountain climbers. You ready, George? We're gonna power them up, babe. Go. Time, woo wee. All right, stand on up for me. Shake it out a bit. <laughs> that was intense. Good job, you. How your heart rate's doing? Yeah, <laughs> mine's beating, how about you? <laughs> okay, we're moving into a combo move, hitting chest, triceps, front shoulder, and the abs, all at the same lovely time. Okay, so. We have 30 seconds on the clock now, so I'm adding some more time. Three rounds. Just gonna grab a quick sip to wet my whistle. I recommend your lighter pair of the dumbbells that you grabbed. So grab those dumbbells. I'm gonna coach you through as we go, okay? For reference, I'm using tens. So I want you to sit up nice and tall. Okay, and then lean back, arms out, and you're gonna do a chest fly. Okay? To modify, you keep the feet on the ground. Yes? Awesome. You with me yet? You done on the ground? Come on, George and I are waiting for you. Okay, so where's our setup? First is spine stacked. So when we get into a V-sit, we never want to V-sit and then lose that low back and, give, and do that posterior tilt of the pelvis. We want to keep neutral. So think about lifting the boobs up towards the ceiling, okay? <laughs> awesome. Oh, for men, your chest. <laughs> Here we go. 
And elbows slightly bent and open and slowly close. Open. Now, how to modify this further? We can do one arm at a time. Time. All right, you can hold on to 110 or I'm switching out to my 12. Lie down. So far this exercise is pretty good. <laughs> Arms extended, now give me a toe touch crunch, lower down and now skull crusher. Now when we do the skull crusher, try to float the elbows back again so that they are behind or in front of the shoulders I should say. That's gonna give us a better contraction into the triceps. And those are our two moves, okay? Two more rounds, and then we move on. Time, Whew. Oh boy, okay. V sit, so remember, vertebrae stacked, and then keep it stacked. I'm keeping my feet on the ground for this one. Second round, breathe. We wanna move through the shoulders, not necessarily the elbows. And then if you're like, PJ, this effing sucks, <laughs> lie down, okay, and do the flies like so. <laughs> All right, I don't want you to tap out and leave me. Hang in there. There's always workarounds. Time. Whew. All right, now for the triceps, I'm going to try my 20 pound dumbbell because I didn't feel much of my triceps when I was doing it. So, ready? Crunch. Elbows in front of the shoulder slightly. Okay, yeah, there's the triceps now. <laughs> Crunch. So when we do the crunch, all I'm getting are my head and shoulders off your mat. Okay, trying to get the post of my dumbbell towards my laces. Keeping the lower body fairly still. Time. Woo. Okay, you ready at home? This is our last set and then we move on. <sighs> Keeping my tens, <laughs> vertebrae stacked, lean back. I'm gonna try this last set with my feet up. Breathe, you guys. <sighs> Tell the body this is the last set <sighs> of this one though. We gotta still keep going. <laughs> Time, oh, darn that stuff. Darn it all, everybody. I know, I've been really good with not swearing. One's bound to <laughs> release though. Crunch, just warning you. Oh. Whew, and even with the 20, man, I feel my abs a heck of a lot more. Gosh darn it all. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, the reason I'm giggling time is because I used to swear quite a bit and people didn't like that, so I have tapered it back a bit. Okay, we're almost there, kind of, sort of. <laughs> we're still keeping the, 40, or the 30 seconds on the clock. Moving into a side plank, okay, with a tricep. A, extension and this is where you want one of your lighter ones and then I want you to line up each heavy on each side of you. All right. From here we can go modified on the bottom knee. We want to float so the elbow starts above the shoulder, palm facing towards me, float the arm back a bit and then do the skull crusher or a cross body tricep. Okay. You can also go into a full plank and do that, or you can just say, forget it. I don't want to do a plank. That really bothers my shoulder, and you can come down. You ready? Get set up. So start with arms straight up. For reference, I'm using a 10. You choose your side plank option. 
hand slightly in front of that shoulder and drop down. Don't hit your head though, okay? <laughs> Don't make it a real skull crusher. Now we've got each side to do, but before we do the other side, we're gonna sandwich in a chest press with these heavy dumbbells where the triceps assist us on that one too. I know, good times. Oh, Lordy. Time. Whew. All right, so put that dumbbell down because we will return back to it. Grab your heavies. Elbows lined up with shoulders. Palms facing your knees. Lift your bum up and chest press. For reference, I'm using 20s. Oh, my goodness. Whew. The pecs are done, man. <laughs> oh. Time. Okay, so we've got the other side plank to do. Yeah? Awesome. And again, you don't have to be elevated if that's bothering your shoulder. If you are elevated, though, let's get set up. Get that palm facing me. Elbow slightly in front of the shoulder, and now bring the dumbbell down and press. When the timer goes, we go to the other side plank, okay, for round two. So here we get triceps and core. Modified on this side plank, you're on that bottom knee. Time. Whew. All right, other side. <laughs> I might go on my bottom knee for this one. We have three sets, so pace yourselves. Here we go. Up, hand slightly past the shoulder, and triceps. Now this is where we'll sandwich the chest press after this arm. Time. Oh, it's that bottom shoulder, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's screaming at me too. That's why I dropped down on my knee. All right, ready? Bum up, work those glutes, and press. Time. Keep breathing, everybody. Okay, other side. Lie down, bud. Whew. On that bottom knee, and that, that bottom elbow is just under the shoulder. Hey, lie down. People can't see. Lie down. We're on YouTube. Come on, dude. You know the drill. Oh, you just gave me a look. Hey, don't lick. No. Oh, boy, did I get a look. Time, whoo, oh. one more of each. We got this, you guys, we got this. Here we go. Back to the other side, side plank. I'm staying on my knee. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it, I'm staying down here. You know what, I haven't even finished recording this video yet, and I think this is, seriously, the hardest chest and tricep workout to date that I've put on the channel. Ooh. Time. Oh. You can leave a comment below and let me know what you think. All right, let's sandwich those chest presses. I'm still going to keep those 20s. I'm stubborn as hell that way here. Go. Now with the chest press crew, when the elbows hit the ground, the wrists are over the elbows and the elbows are lined up with the shoulders. All right. <sighs> 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 
time. Whew. All right, other side. That was close to failure for me. <laughs> like, I don't think I had two more reps in me. Ready, go. Bottom elbow under shoulder. Watch the noggin, don't hit the head. But really, you'll only do that once and you'll forever learn your lesson. <laughs> Take it from experience. <laughs> George, no. Licking. Good boy. Time. Oh my goodness. Hey, I'm proud of you, okay? I do. I literally think this is the toughest chest tricep workout I've ever developed. All right, we are almost done. We just have a mini Tabata to do, and then I will stretch out these poor, exhausted arms and chest muscles. Okay, I'm gonna show you a really cool move for intermediate advanced people, and then I'll show beginner version, okay? We're alternating between two movements. Definitely the chest and triceps are assisting us, but the main movers are your ab muscles and your obliques. Intermediate advanced people, whew. I'll move this way since. Mr. Diva isn't getting out of the way. Okay, so you're gonna take a look at where your step is and then jump up and down, plank jack. So, <laughs> I know, you're thinking, PJ, you're nuts. Yeah, I am, kind of, but regardless. If you have a BOSU ball, you can use a BOSU as well. Actually, a BOSU drill doing that is really fun because you get a little bit of bounce. If you're with me with the chair and you wanna do it, my cue for you is to make sure your head is down and you're looking at your chair so you know how high to lift the feet up. Now, modification is obviously no chair, okay? Where you're here or you can tap out. You can also be on the forearms or if you're a true beginner and you're like, I'm not interested, PJ, elevate your ground for me and do it. Impact, no impact, okay? Secondary move, we're seated, doing a double crunch. I'll show you when we get there. All right, so let's get set up. You choose which one's gonna work for you. Start with your feet on the chair if you're joining me or on your BOSU if you're joining me on that one. Wrists under shoulders, okay, and jump down and then keep your eyes on the chair and BOSU. Again, this is advanced, that's why I've shown you different ways to scale this back. Whoop. My chair's moving. Time. Double crunch. So have a seat for me. All right. In that V-sit position, knees are up, hands are on the ground, and pump it out. Breathe. You're gonna feel your hips and thighs on this in addition to the abdominals, time. Okay, so those are our two moves, all right? Okay, back to you, whatever plank jack you wanna do, go. Start with the feet on the chair if that's what you're doing. Keep your eyes on the chair of the BOSU. Time, whoo, oh boy, okay, whoo, double crunch. Ready, set, Whew. knees in, go. To modify this one, keep one foot on the ground and just extend one leg out. And then everybody, use those arms to help you out a bit. And just breathe, okay? We'll get through this together, I promise. Time. All right, we're halfway. So if you're joining me on the chair BOSU, your feet start on top. Go. Time, Woo -hoo. I went faster on that round. 
paying for it now though. <laughs> Double crunch. <laughs> Go. Time. Okay, you guys, just one more of each. We got this. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of us. We got this, come on, you guys, last one. Go. Whoa, watch out, George. Now is not a good time to be here for cuddles. Excuse me, thank you. <laughs> Hi, George. <clears throat> thank you. Thanks for the kisses. Time. Ooh. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I can't pet you when I'm almost upside down. Ready? Go. Time. We did it. Holy cow. I think I'm changing the name to this workout as epic. The most epic chest and tricep and core workout you'll ever do. Until the next one I develop. <laughs> hey, listen, don't leave me yet, okay? A couple of stretches, some water, and then you can continue on with your day. So why don't we use the chair for some stretches? I'll show you some seated stretches that will feel really good, especially to if you're in a job where you sit a lot, you can try out a couple of these stretches. So let's start, oh, by the way, if your heart rate's going like a hummingbird right now, okay, mine's come down, but if yours is still going, I want you to push pause and just walk it around, okay? Let that heart rate come down, ideally under 100 beats per minute, and then join us for these stretches. For the stretch, situate your right back of thigh and glute on your chair, and then step the left one back. Upright in the body, okay? We want this left shoulder and hip aligned, and then you just walk that leg back a bit until you feel a nice stretch in your psoas, your hip flexor. So this is a really nice stretch if you do sit at a desk a lot. This guy, powerful muscle, but tends to shorten up with a lot of sitting. Now let's take that left arm and reach up and over and get into the TFL, which can cause havoc on your IT band. Woo! Hey, thank you so much for joining me. Oh my goodness. It's always better when you know somebody else is suffering with you. <laughs> that workout was tough. <laughs> and release. Let's do the other side. I don't remember a workout where I actually had to do so many of my own modifications before. All right, knee and shoulder aligned. Reach that right arm up and then lean away from the hip. And release, standing, get into the hamstrings for the jump squats and the plank jacks and et cetera that we did. Leg up, hinge forward, woo, and say hello to the hamstrings. So I'm so happy you joined me. And if you haven't already, hey, click the subscribe button. I would love to keep working with you. And if you've been to the workouts or my workouts a few times and you haven't clicked subscribe yet, hey, click subscribe. It actually helps the channel on YouTube. So I would appreciate that. And for those of you that aren't already or haven't already joined us on Patreon, come and join the community. The information's down below. You get a ton of perks, including a workout calendar that I develop every month so that everybody sees the best results in the community. And the monies in turn help us keep this YouTube channel going. So after the workout, check out below. I've got the link to Patreon there and you can check out what's available and how you can get yourself signed up. Let's do the other side. Woo. And hinge forward. And have a seat. Interlace the hands, place them behind the head. 
Drape your upper body over the back of your chair, pushing your chest up, head up, looking up a bit. This is going to open up the front of the body, our pecs and front shoulder. And take that right arm, place it behind the head, and just lean away, stretch into the triceps. Serratus right here into your lats a little bit too. They did help stabilize for all the plank movements we did. Other arm. And let's finish off with a really nice low back stretch. Situate yourself so you're sitting, I'm just pushing my chair back a bit. So you're sitting right on the edge of your chair. Let yourself drop, head drops in between. Good, nope, don't lick. Hands down on the ground, he sorry, head in between the legs is what I was trying to say before I had to pay attention to my dog. Nope. Just let yourself hang here for a few breaths. Feel the low back release. Really open up those legs too if you have tight hips. Now stay down here and simply place your hands on top of your thighs and now use your arms to help roll yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae. The chin untucks off the chest last. We did it! Oh my goodness, thank you so much for joining me for this epic workout. Like I said earlier, click that subscribe and if you enjoyed the workout, well, I guess enjoyed is a subjective term. <laughs> if you thought the workout was effective, I'd appreciate a thumbs up down below. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Mwah! Woo! Ha ha! Good job.